Good morning, everybody, and welcome to episode four of Sable. I can't believe we're already on the fourth episode of this game. I hope you all are doing well. If you're watching on the VOD, or if you're watching on YouTube, or if you're watching me live, I really appreciate that you're watching. So we are here in Ecria. Clearly some sort of public uh, demonstration going on. So we're going to talk to these people, and then I found out what we were supposed to be doing with the chum eggs, which gives us more stamina. Woohoo! So we're going to go do that after we talk to these people. And good morning, Maruski, and good afternoon, Suki Black. Who did this? Have they found out who it was yet? Are we under attack? I don't know. You have to do something. The power has been off for days now. When will we get drinking water back? Oh, I like her mask. I wonder if that's the bug mask. Useless. Completely useless. How did we end up in a position where almost everything we rely on comes to a complete halt? Boy, isn't that the what happens when you lose your power? And look at this lady. She's freaking out. All right, what is the guard saying? Everyone, please remain calm. We are all we are doing all we can to restore power to Ecria. We got a quest. Uh, this guard approached me. This was off stream. It just sort of happened when I came over here to this uh, to leave myself here with this um, protest, uh, and the the. Uh, a new power. So he gave me a broke down old power core and he wanted me to take it to Hamza to fix it. And then we're supposed to snoop around and see if we can find out about the power cut. I'm kind of feeling like we should probably do that before we leave. This might be sand deep here. Yeah, this is the one that gave us the power core. Let's see. Yeah. Someone trashed her workshop. Hamza says hello. What can I do for you, Glider? Hamza smirks, but his expression is warm. I wonder how you could tell under the mask. They've got you running errands, eh? Oh, I can relate to that. If I don't keep working, eventually I'm going to have to think about some of the things knocking around in this odd little brain of mine. I can relate to that. And nobody needs that, least of all me. I'll drop this thing off with Sandeep when it's good and ready. Anything else I can help with? Who does that? She only does color. That's kind of strange. Oh, look, but that brought my bike over. Nice. Okay, then we're supposed to snoop around. But what we're going to do first is we're going to go back to Burnt... Oak Station. And there's a queen egg. A queen of chum. The chum egg queen. Or the chum queen or something like that. And she has a lair over here. Hopefully we can find it. And uh, we deliver the eggs to her. And we get better stamina for that. All right, let's fly through these rings. I also found out if you fly through all these rings, by the end, something happens. Oh, look at all these rings. Maybe it is, maybe it is that thing. Because look, there's the ship right there. Let's fly through the rings first, and then we'll go look. And then supposedly it has a big worm curled up inside of it, which is the queen worm. And the idea is that you're bringing her lost babies to her. You know, when I saw these here, I thought about flying through them and I just got distracted. Imagine that, and I didn't do it. In the tutorial, you have to fly through one of these and I guess that's your subtle hint that... Okay, that did something. Oh my goodness! Well, I'm glad we chose to do that first. Wow, 
I don't know. <laughs> okay, we got the thread the needle achievement and that thing popped up. Which I don't know is going to make that the queen layer, but we're going to go check it out. Last night on Kingdom Come Deliverance, I swear I was just like, oh wait, oh but wait, I gotta look at that, oh wait, wait, and then I finally had to just go, oh my gosh, just stop. Just go do what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Alright, this might be the ring secret, although funny, it's so early in the game, if it is. I guess it is. Look at this thing. Cool. Or maybe there's a bunch of these. I got the historic ring artifact. Whatever that is. All right, well, we will keep our eyes open for those rings henceforth and uh, fly through any we see. I know I've flown through some of them, but what that is not is the chum um, queen's lair. Well, if we're not finding the chum queen, at least we're finding other stuff, I suppose. And here's another shipwreck back here. So we might get a sarin, um, a sarin, another sarin person. So evidently, I was thinking you were going to gather these rings up throughout the whole game and get a reward at the end for hitting all of them, but evidently that's not the case. I, I like instant reward better, or quick reward. Somehow it doesn't seem quite so much like busy work when you don't have to find everyone in the game in order to get your reward. And we don't know what these little rings give us either, but... We're happy to have them. The artifacts. I'm assuming they add up to something. Ah! I'm assuming Green Ranger's typing to tell us what happened and not. That wasn't just a teaser to say we'll never guess and then make us actually guess. <laughs> All right, here's one. Woohoo! Hikaric ring artifact. Maybe all of those together add up to a mask or uh, an outfit. My wife is drinking coffee, and you say, "Oh, she spit." Oh. <laughs> Geyser tower. Oh, look. Oh, maybe this is it. Cause look, here's other. I don't know. Did you see how those things were up and now they're down? So, um, and they look like something you can collect, but we don't know how. All right, now I'm not sure that it's it, but we'll find out. I hope it is. I would be so happy to have some more stamina. Oh, we got in though. And here's some other thing flying around. I got the Stepwell Dragonfly. Alright, let's talk to her. Hey, I like your place here. Plant Weaver Rachel. Oh, look at her mask. Oh my goodness. Oh, hello. These baths, they are ancient. I'd never even heard of them before. They seem to use the flow from the hot water that are inside the rocks and circulate them through the baths. That's pretty nice. Imagine this as a bathhouse. People must have come from all over to rest and recover. My name is Rachel and I'm a plant weaver. I've never heard of a plant weaver before. Is that a tiny tree inside that glass orb? We nurture plants, whether a struggling rizhwer in the wild or flourishing sporling of melancholy mushrooms in a cultivated garden. I wonder how a mushroom could be melancholy. Without plants, life would cease to exist. 
I came with the climber and the hunter, but I think I'll stay here. Have we met the climber and the hunter? There's something special about this place. I think some very unusual flora would thrive here. I've never seen some of the things growing here. Oh, I thought maybe she was going to give us a hint about that, those um, flowers. I guess we could try crouching. It seems to be one of my problems in Kingdom Come. I keep forgetting to crouch. <laughs> so maybe I need to do it here. All right, obviously there's some sort of bug gathering component too, so we're just going to keep gathering the bugs. All right, well, this is a very cool place. Maybe it wasn't pollution. Maybe it's steam. That makes me quite a bit happier. But what I don't see, what I see is that it is not the Chum Queen Tower that I am seeking. All right, look at this. This is broken up ships. I'm not sure there's going to be a Saren in here, a Saren terminal. Okay, phew, that took a long time to get here. I felt like the second... Okay, now we'll have a fast travel to here. I felt like the second um, Saren Terminal that we found really didn't make any connection to the first one, and that sort of surprised me. And it made me wonder if I had missed something. All right, where is the power cell? Oh, did we even see a power cell receptacle? I see a lot of doors that don't work. Man, we've already been going almost an hour. That's hard to imagine. Here's some scrap for the scrap dealer. Chum egg. Compared to 165 total, 19 doesn't seem like that many. But I'm hoping that whenever we find this chum queen, it will give us a material boost. Oh, there's a door that opens. A material boost in our stamina. That's a scrap. Hmm. That's the only door that opens. Oh, I know what we can do. We can fast travel to Geyser Tower, which will make our bike come to us, and then we won't have to run all the way back over there. And we won't be that far away. Oh, look, now she's here, or is this a different person? Before I greet them... Oh, look, here's the hunter. Okay, we didn't look thoroughly here, evidently. The hunter is making some breathy noises, loud exhales through near-pursed lips and small, effortful oofs. Really? <laughs> they run their hand along the back of their skull and stare upward and away for short moments before turning back in my direction with a shake of their head. I like his mask. It isn't how I'm used to seeing hunters, whom I have come to associate with perfect calm. Glider. I can tell they're trying to infuse some calm into their voice, but it doesn't work. Can you help me? Oh, of course. My name's Zebby. I've been out here for a while now, and my partner, Dylan, traveling partner, I should say, got it in his head to climb up there after some bird's eggs. Up where? I don't think I sound afraid when I remark how high up it is, but Zebby seems to think I'm commiserating. I know. It's, I don't use this word often, and I don't like to, but it's preposterous is what it is. I'm a hunter. If your success were measured on the length, weight, and majesty of your quarry, you'd hate hyperbole too. But this situation calls for it. I tell them I see, but I don't really. Zebby huffs. I'm not happy to admit this, but I'm not too fond of heights. Some would say I'm a little afraid of them. Or a lot. I really like the hunter mask. If you could get up there and grab Dylan for me and tell him I'm going to kill him when he gets down here, that would be really helpful. I tell Zebby that I'm happy to do most of that and take on the task. I say goodbye to Zebby. So where is he? <laughs> In there maybe? That pink building? Let's see. He's up there. I don't even know where he is. I 
Okay, wait a minute. Stop right there. You're a tiny bit higher right there. Let go. Let go. No, you're not climbing. You're supposed to just be standing. Oh, <gasps> this is the chum lair. Oh, okay. We got to get in here. This is it. Oh, gosh. But how do we get in there? Too much to hope. We can just go in. Oh, maybe we can. Look, here's a hole. <gasps> oh, I'm going to be so excited. Okay, here we go. Oh, guys. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, madam. Madam Chum Queen. Upon seeing the frankly humongous chum holding up the rem remains of an ancient stone tower, I nearly jump out of my skin. Before I collect myself, I hear a voice cooing in my head. Ah, oh, hello, Wanderer. Please don't be frightened. The giant chum cocks its head at me and chirps. Are you talking to me? I realize as I ask this question, I, I realize as I ask that this question is for my own benefit. I am talking to you as much as I am able to talk, and you are able to perceive my thoughts. But I assure you, I am as real as you are. I hear you are carrying some of my children. I can feel the eggs squirming in my satchel at their mention. I relax suddenly, comforted by the absurdity of the situation. Your name is old and vast, like the desert. I mouth the syllables as it chirps silently. Sable, how beautiful. I don't have a name as such, but I am the queen of the chums. You may call me Queen Chum or Chum Queen, <laughs> as you prefer. I bow my head politely. It is an honor to meet you, Queen. The Queen seems surprised by my formality. Oh my, you're such a proper little human. Well, you being here feels very lucky indeed. Perhaps you could help us. Our eggs are scattered throughout the deserts, but they need to be planted somewhere safe. Bring them here, little one. I will be able to give you something for your favor. My answer comes without hesitation. A big yes, please. You are a kind little slug, aren't you? Well, I don't call me a slug. I think I'm going to like you, Sable. To start things off, bring me five eggs. How about this, Queen Chum? I got like 20 eggs. I have them with me already. I got the Chum Novice Badge. You've been busy, so many of us together already. Excellent work, young Sable. The queen coos at me while her, vo while her gentle voice resonates in my head. How fortunate for you to have taken an interest in us. I find myself smiling at this magnanimous compliment. You're a rare specimen in this age. Okay, we're just gonna stand here and give her all 20 eggs. I'm glad we got a look at her though. My trophy, my um, controller is making all sorts of weird sounds right now. <gasps> Dang, that was for five. And now I have a little. Oh, <laughs> I got a chum queen tear. <laughs> Stamina increase. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I feel like I want to play everything over again because now with better stamina. Well, now you've gotten me all emotional. Lucky for you, the tears of a chum carry great power. But I suggest you keep that information to yourself. I nod solemnly, sparing her any elaboration on her suggestion. The tear feels like a gift. I feel stronger, more resilient. Bring me 15 eggs next. Oh man, how many do I have? I have 23. I greet the chum queen. The chum, the queen asks if I have eggs for her. Okay, so the next one, um, the next one will be, well, I've got seven now, so we won't, well, at least we got through two iterations with the eggs we had. And we'll be able to fast travel back here now, too. And I'm excited to go climb something and see how much that helped. 
<laughs> it's so funny that that's her thing. <laughs> it's like a little kid thing. Stamina increased. Yeah, two gains. That's pretty awesome. You spared them a life of solitude and distant wanderings. They're so grateful even now in their youth. I know. Oh, now she wants 20 eggs is next. Okay. So I have... Oh, wait. I still have 23? Maybe I can do this one too. Wait, didn't I have 23 before? Oh, no. I guess I don't. Um... Okay, so maybe Katria's here too. Cool. So we can turn in those glow worms. There's a mask we're supposed to find. There's this whole power outage thing. So let's go over here and work over here again now that we've gotten our stamina situation. This is Rita, the owner of the Overhang Cafe. I don't think I'll be much help in your investigation. Any idea why someone might have taken the core? Whatever the reason, it's been terrible. It's been terrible for business. I could ask more questions. Where were you when the power went out? Oh, I'm here. It was here at the cafe. I think that's all of our questions. Oh, who do you think did it? There's people coming and going every day in this town. It could be anyone. Okay, so one of our little side missions here is to investigate the power outage. If it was sabotage. But that does not help us with finding Katria. She must be around on the other side somewhere. You don't happen to be Katria, do you? Oh, she is! I found her! You do? You know, I'd have forgotten I even asked you. I must have been a little distracted. I hand the glowworms over. Thank you for these. Nazi will be eating even better than me tonight. Oh, I got the merchant badge! Yay! I say goodbye to Citra. Well, at least we managed to finish one quest. Who are you? Can I help you? I need to speak to Iria. Oh, I have enough money now to do this. Offer a hundred cuts. Oh, look at that! I bribed her! Hey, Zahn! Alright, I didn't know I could... I think I didn't have enough money when I came here before. So where's Iria? So we're, we're not doing our look for the mask, but we're doing something new. Who's this little person? I don't guess we get to talk to them. Where is Iria? Sorry, you guys, the game's kind of juddering around a little bit. Maybe this is Iria's spot. Ah, yes. Who is Iria, by the way? If Iria is surprised, happy, or displeased to see me, it's hard to tell. The guards by her side, the guard by her side tenses up as I approach, but Iria signals to them and they relax. My presence is permitted. Yeah, for a hundred cut bribe for now. So you got past Yanis. Was it a pomegranate? Oh, could I have given her a pomegranate? Or just good old fashioned cuts? It doesn't really matter, I suppose. Well, you're here now, yes? I have some questions about the power cut. Oh. You have five minutes, and then I want you gone. Any idea why someone might have taken the core? Two reasons I can imagine. One, because there's something to gain from bringing the town to its knees. Grizz, thank you for the lurk. Now a sharp, annoyed inhale. Two, because power cores fetch a substantial price in illegal markets. Could be one of those, could be both. I don't know. I don't think we can answer all these questions in five minutes. She dislikes me very much. I will ignore the implications of that question, friend. But I was here in the market. Ask around if you'd like. Any of the guards will vouch for me. Could be some lowlife from the Sarai. Probably that climber fellow, Garay. They say he's, you know, one to speak to when a job needs doing. Though he's not exactly what I'd call discreet fellow like that he won't be the brains behind it but if i were a scummy little nobody he's the person i'd hire to get the work done i'm told oh i think we got a clue here i'm told you can find him under the bridge outside the town gate i could ask more questions well i want to ask about the badges iria seems completely disinterested in my question i'm not sure she even heard me i go to ask again and then she lets out a big sigh how do you think what do merchants do? 
Don't answer that. You can buy them from me. Yes? So it looks like it's saying I have 555 cuts, which I think I do. But then down here in the lower right, it's got that zero. Hmm. No, nope, we're gonna have to say goodbye. And then check back in with Sandy. Uh, yeah, I have 555 cuts. I don't know why it wouldn't let me buy a badge from her. I guess we'll have to earn our badges. Right here. Sandeep rocks from the balls of his feet to his heels and back. Pleased. Good news! Hamza's finished his work on the spare power core. I could use your help with it if you have a moment. Oh, you betcha. Perfect. I'd like you to take the new core to the atomic heart and plug it in. And while you're there, see if you can't pick up on any clues about who may have stolen the original. Yes? <clears throat> you came to the right glider. I cross my arms and give him a coolly confident nod. He nods back. I had a feeling about you the moment I saw you. That air of mystery tells me you know how to follow a lead or dig up your own. Okay, so now we got the key card. Hamza left a key card for you. You'll need it to unlock the front door. The central chamber is protected by a security code, but I'm sure you'll find your way in. Oh, really? Why couldn't you just tell me what the code is? The thief managed somehow. To get the atomic heart, head over to the substation just outside town and follow the power cable that runs through and under the sand. See you soon, hopefully with news. Okay. Well, it seems a little strange. They won't just give me the security code. They gave me a key card. And why would I need a key card and a code? Oh, here's the big cable. Okay. Follow the giant cable from Ecria to the atomic heart. So from Ecria. That is a very giant cable. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here it is. It's this thing right here. So we have a key card, but we don't have the security code. And uh, their flip answer was, you'll figure something out. Yeah, that doesn't seem so good, does it? Here we are, the atomic heart. Boop. Put in our key card. There's a slot for a key card in the terminal. Perhaps this would unlock the door. Perhaps. Why, perhaps so. Ooh, there's some scrap in here, which is cool. We can sell that. Now we're going to have a little puzzle to try to get in there. I see a power core over there. Oh, it's inside, though. Alrighty. Oop, chum egg. Do, 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 do. We've got about 10 minutes left of the stream. It would be nice if we could figure this out uh, before the end of the stream. That would be awesome. Uh, oh, wow. There it is. Well, that wasn't too hard. So now we're on the inside. We can pop down and get that power core. That we saw. There's the receptacle. That's what I like, a not too hard puzzle. Otherwise known as easy. Oh, or there's a ladder that you would easily just climb right up without worrying about all your tricky moves. <laughs> that is way too easy.
Oh, chum egg. <laughs> Yay! I'm trying to get to 40 for our next stamina upgrade. What else is up here before we do that? I feel like there's probably going to be other secret things. So it probably behooves us to run around a little bit. Some scrap or something. Okay, that's where we came in. And I jumped down before I... Oh yeah, here's some scrap. Good. So the scrap we sell to the scrap dealer to raise funds to uh, bribe guards and upgrade our bike. What is this thing back here? Oh yeah, we were supposed to be looking for clues. This kind of looks like uh, the atomic card thing. Oh, atomic shell die. That's so you can paint your bike a different color. Just how my bike got to be pink because I was testing it and that was the only color I had. Alrighty. Yes, obviously we can. Another thing I made harder than it needed to be. Alright, here's our... Oh. Hmm. So I was thinking... Sparks shoot out from wires around the sockets, but the damage to the empty socket itself is non-existent, as far as I can tell. The culprit took good care in removing the core. It makes sense. If I were to steal something so valuable, I would be delicate too. But why the torn up cables? It looks almost staged to me. Okay, we got the Power to the People achievement. Yay! We're the hero of Ecria! Something tells me we shall not be uh, recognized as such. Okay, well, I see a purple thing broken over here. There's other clues, I believe. Now this is a clue! A scrap of paper lies discarded on the floor. And when I take it up, I see that it's a promissory note. Somebody, perhaps the culprit, owes money to the merchants. It's possible the culprit dropped it, but who could be so careless at the scene of their crime? I wonder if it's a plant left to throw me off the scene. She's a pretty good detective. And if I picked it up, how come it's still lame? Okay, we saw a purple thing on the floor over here. Come on. Oh, it's feathers. There's a clump of feathers on the floor. Strange. I try to picture the bird large and powerful enough to carry away the power core and decide that it is one suspect I can absolutely rule out, though I would very much like to see it. Okay. Let's see if there's any other clues. Seriously, now that we powered it up, the door still won't open and we can't just walk out? That seems kind of odd. But I am glad we are now the self-proclaimed hero of Ecria. I am just feeling quite chuffed about that. Alrighty. And about our, our stamina increase. So in spite of the fact that it took a while, I feel as though we made good progress. Oh look, now everything's going to be working here in Ecria. You guys should be kissing my feet. Alright, now we gotta find Sandia again. Oh, look at this guy with the camel. Cool! I wish we could talk to him. That's very cool. He's got this little floaty lantern. Oh, is this Sandeep right here? Oh, Glider, you did a brilliant job getting the power back on. I don't know if you could hear it, but there was a tremendous noise. The whole town was delighted. <laughs> Your work is appreciated and you are valued. Now, he leans in, how about our little investigation? Any useful evidence? What can I do for you, Sable? What did you find when you searched the heart? I tell him about the feather I saw on the floor of the heart and suggest that the culprit may have left it behind. I say it might have been an accident. 
Then I pause a moment with some drama and whisper that it could also be a calling card. She's watched a little bit too much uh, CSI, hasn't she? Sandeep crosses his arms, nodding furiously. What did you find when you searched the heart? I tell him I found a note on the floor and that it listed the debts owned to the merchants. Was this left there on purpose, I wonder aloud, or did the foolish culprit drop it by accident? Sandeep steeples his fingers with interest. Uh, and then there also is that person under the bridge. I explained that the socket for the core was in perfect condition, flawless, even to one such as myself who is decidedly not an expert. I posit that whomever removed the core knew what they were doing and didn't want to damage it. Sandeep seems to like the sound of this. I wonder if Sandeep is the culprit. Uh, well, how about my reward? Review suspects. I think I have to go find that person. Climber Garay, it was a group. Oh, let's not do that yet. Ask around Ecria for information about the power cut. Yeah, so I think we got to talk to that guy under the bridge. Yeah, I think we got, I'm not even sure I trust Sandeep. He seems like he's not working too hard. Very cool. Well, yes, I feel like we made some progress today. 